Hello everybody, Christy Reese here with the Christy Reese Group in beautiful downtown Grand Junction, Colorado, coming to you from our world headquarters here on Fifth Street. Uh, this is soon to be not our world headquarters. We are moving down to the riverfront uh, probably first week of April. We're super excited about that, so more info to come. But uh, gorgeous day today. Uh, wish I was up skiing because they got eight inches of snow up at Powderhorn and it's a gorgeous warm day. Pretty chilly yesterday while it was snowing and uh, it ought to be just gorgeous up there today. So congrats to those people that are out on the slopes. Um, this is Keeping It Real, of course. It's Thursday at noon, so we're here to answer your real estate questions and talk about real estate topics. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about the school boundary changes here in Grand Junction because that is a really important topic that does affect housing. A um, little bit of market data first. So number of homes on the market active right now, 216. That is so low. I mean, a couple of months ago when it was in the mid threes, we were saying, oh my gosh, we don't have enough homes to sell. And now it's at, uh, just over 200. So just an incredibly low amount of active residential homes for sale. So we are encouraging those of you who have been thinking about selling or gosh, maybe you just wonder how, what's your property worth right now with the prices going up the way they have been we would be happy to um, fill you in on the value of your property. So happy to do a market analysis for you. Uh, the number of homes pending sale right now in Mesa County, 220. So there's actually more homes under contract than there are active for sale. And number of homes sold year to date, 373. So really robust market right now. I think we would be selling even more if we've had more houses on the market. So super busy. Uh, we have a couple new listings that we want to share with you. So 681 and a half Lador Street. Uh, that is a ranch style home in the northeast with a really nice light and it's 1200 square feet, 234,000. And I think it is not under contract yet, but we have multiple offers on that property so far. So um, if that's something that's in your price range and you want to take a look, call us right away and we will get you in the door. That has been a really super popular property in that in that lower price range. Uh, we also have a new building lot for sale in the Redlands. 720 Malachi is Sam's listing and that is a 0.22 acre lot in Independence um, subdivision. And it's not Independence Ranch, but it's, uh, I can't remember the name of the subdivision, but it's out there near Independence Ranch. So uh, Malachi Street, 720 Malachi. That is a great building lot and a really nice neighborhood, uh, beautiful newer homes all around and it is ready to go. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about schools because this week the um, District 51 changed some of the school boundaries and that will affect housing and you know it's, it's a big choice for a lot of people where their kids go to school when they're looking for a home. So um, if you haven't seen the changes, we're going to share a link with you so you can read the detail, but here are the basics. The neighborhoods in the scenic and Broadway elementary school attendance areas are going to go from Fruita Monument High School, where they're attending now, and those kids are going to be switched to Grand Junction High School. Um, the area bordered by Highway 6 and 50, 25 Road and G Road are switching also from Fruita Middle School to West Middle School. Um, the Appleton Elementary areas south of G Road, northeast of the Colorado River, and west of 25 Road will move from Pomona Elementary, and plus the area bordered by G Road, I-70, 26, and 27, moving from Pomona to Tope. And the Panorama neighborhood is moving from Wingate Elementary to Broadway Elementary. So, you know, obviously with our community growing, they're having to shift some populations around to make sure that schools are not overcrowded in one area and undercrowded in the other. But that is going to create some uh, issues for some folks who want to remain in the schools that they are in. So uh, those changes are going to take effect in August of this year. Now, when you're looking for a home, what are your options when it comes to school? So all of our listings in the MLS note the school district boundaries for that property. So you can search for a home by school boundaries. Um, and you can see the ratings for the school also. And we know a lot of people do search for their homes based on the school rating. So we can sure help you with that if you're confused about what district your home will be in or if you wanna search in a district that is going to be in a certain uh, school boundary area. You can also apply for school of choice. So if um, 
a school has room, you can attend that school even if you're outside of their boundary area if, if they have room and you apply during the right time. So that year, this year, the process starts March 8th and runs through March 19th. So if you want to send your kids to a different school than the boundary that you're within, you have to apply March 8th through March 19th. And again, the criteria for placement is space availability and the date of application. Uh, so no guarantee that you can do school of choice, but there, that's definitely something to keep in mind and you can try for that. And we'll add a link for that also. Uh, there are schools like New Emerson or Dual Immersion Academy that have separate enrollment policies and timelines. And, and those timelines may be passed to apply for this year, but you can check out their websites for more information. Um, yeah, so big changes. I do want to say that I am hopeful that these changes uh, with sending more kids to Grand Junction High School will help us get a new school built at Grand Junction High School because we really, really need it. That school is really old. It's in horrible shape. It needs to be torn down. We need to build a new school at Grand Junction High School. So I will be campaigning very heavily this year if they put that on the ballot for the fall um, to build a new Grand Junction High School and I hope you'll join me. And I think those parents that are going to be sending their kids to Grand Junction instead of Fruta, when they get in to see that school and see what poor shape it's in, they're going to be uh, wanting to build a new school too. So uh, we need that for our community. So um, all right, thanks for watching Keeping It Real today. This is Christy Reese signing off. If you have questions about school district boundaries, about how it affects your property values, about whether your house is in an area that is gonna change boundaries, feel free to call us, but we will post the links here below the video so you can check out the websites as well. Have a great Thursday, everybody, and we'll see you next week.